Are we going to get in a situation soon where we don't need the WBC, the WBA, the WBO, the IBF and the IBO? Are we going to get in a situation? Everybody's going to say, Porky, you was right. So, alright. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here. Yeah, you know, don't you? You know. Right. Frank Warren versus Eduardo John Hearn, a.k.a. Pinocchio. What do we think about it? Frank's only rung him up on here and said, I think we need to put some fights on. And Eddie's trying to still be the big man in here. Is he... Is he not bothered about boxing or what? But this is this is my take on it, right? They're not going to work together at all. You might get one fight, but they're not going to do it. I don't know what they're going to tell the TV companies, but Eddie Hearn wants to run boxing. Eddie Hearn wants to run boxing. He wants to take over like Dana White. The problem he's got is Frank's not going to allow him to do that. Now, Eddie's got the better stable, but when you think about it, we're in the middle of a virus here, and little Eddie's just served up his last two fight camps. Cheeseman Eggington, Arthur Jonas, good fights, but the rest of it, pony, utter pony. But let's just back up a little bit, shall we? Let's back up and let's go through it. Frank Warren's been a promoter since 1980. Barry Hearn's been a promoter since 87, although he dabbled with a couple of shows with Mickey Duff back in the 90s, uh, back in the 86, so 33 a year, one's been going 40 a year. These people have had their noses in the trough for years. They don't get on with each other. Now, I think Frank and Barry used to promote snooker together at one point, but like I've just said, they do not get on at all. Their egos are massive, it's off the charts, there's been that much fired at each other from lawyers over years and nicking fights and all that. They'd never be able to work together, but is Frank Warren on the back foot? No, I don't think he is. Eddie's obviously in a better position, but he's also not on the front foot. I mean, look what he's serving up. Eddie Hearn's biggest fight so far through this pandemic is going to be on August 22nd. Dillian White against Alexander Povetkin for no belt. There's no world title on the line. Povetkin's 41, he got beat by Hunter. Dylan White were fat as a pig, Mitchell in, my, in his last fight. So he didn't exactly look good. Hunter didn't look good in, his, in when he fought uh, un, Sorry, Povetkin didn't look good when he fought Hunter. They're fighting each other on pay-per-view. The other big fight that he's got coming up is Chisora against Usek. What has he delivered for Usek? He was going to rip shit up Snoop Doggy Dog style, wasn't he, with Usek? What has he done? He fed him to Chaz, Withers fed Chaz Witherspoon to him and now he's got Chisora. So Usek, he won the WBSS, he's an Olympic gold. So he's cruiserweight undisputed, Olympic gold, goes with Eddie Hearn, he gets Chaz with a spoon and now he's got nine lost Chisora. Back with a bang, do me a favour. It's prolonging it and abusing the fans. We already know Eddie's done what he's done with Dazone, don't we? He's, he, he's done an Albert Trotter on Dazone, hasn't he, and sunk them. He's took all their lolly and gone. Well, that's what it's all about, isn't it, But don't tell me you're doing things for fans when you're giving Frank Warren disrespect in your interviews now. Getting back, getting back to the, uh, the fights that Frank wants to put on. Yard Boatsy, and he says he's open to that. Yeah, only because Boatsy's going nowhere. Yard's already fought for a world title and nearly won. And stop Cobb left, didn't he, in one round. Boatsy's going nowhere, his profile's shocking, Eddie knows that, so he's just throwing Boatsy to Yard. Yeah, you can take Boatsy, because he's not going anywhere anyway, he's, if anything, he's, he's going backwards with Eddie Hearn. So, they might put that on, that will be the fourth fight in ten years that they've put on. Obviously, they've had Bradley, Skeet, Eddington, 
Skeet Gavin and they've had John Ryder against Saunders. That's it. That's it in ten years. So we get Yard Boatsy, that's four. All the other ones, Dylan White Dubois, Dylan White Fury, uh, Dylan White Joyce, uh, all, all these other fights, Dave Allen against Bois, that, uh, Dubois, that didn't happen. There's loads of fights there, Callum Smith against Yard, I'd like to see that, I'd like to see Callum Johnson against Yard. You could go on forever and ever and ever, Tyson Joshua. Yui Fury against Magidoff or whatever his name is, or Yui Fury against Ergovic. Tyson Fury, Ergovic. Oh, there's that many permutations, you could make 25 fights with a couple of rematches. There could be enough fights there to put 25 headline shows on. They don't all have to be pay-per-view. But egos are not going to allow it. Eddie Hearn wants to squash Frank Warren like a bug. And what Frank Warren would do to Eddie Hearn, he wouldn't tell him anything. He, look, Frank could be like, you've got to treat Eddie Hearn like, like a mushroom. Feed him shit and keep him in the dark. That's Frank saying, isn't it? We all know what Mickey does saying, why don't we? You want loyalty to get a dog. Well, Frank saying is the mushroom saying. And Eddie Hearn saying is, I'm relentless, I'm going to squash Frank like a cockroach that he is. And we all know Eddie said that, don't we? So, the point I want to make is, the ego's a massive book. I think if Eddie Hearn doesn't want to work with Frank Warren, how's he going to get out of it with media? Because all fans are screaming, Eddie, make the fights. So he might throw us a bone, Connor, Je Connor Ben against Chris Jenkins, Yard Boatsy. They're possibilities, but I don't think we'll see many others. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong, but I think that that dog won't hunt. That's just my opinion, and I'm entitled to it. So, all right, so... Let me know your thoughts on it. All right. Shout out to Boominator TV. I think you're funny. You're a character. I like you. I've subscribed. But other than that, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Don't have nightmares. That's about it.